This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. Modify the planets. Ooh, there are planets. I want to see. Oh, there are, I mean, the. okay, sure, planets. I don't know why they can't just be like, I don't know, balls or random circles, but sure, planet. Right now, they're all the same size. Let's use random numbers to change the size of each planet to generate a new planet in every scene. And I think they even gave us an example uh, down here. Yep, so, wow, those are some funky planets. Most planets are more spherical than this, but sure, we'll give it to them. All right, so what they're wanting us to do is use um, the random number, right? Random size. But first, let's figure out how to change the size of these. Now, the ellipse is what is creating these. So a few things to keep in mind. Code always runs in order. I know you've heard me say that a lot at this point, but it does. And that's why the background's black. How I can make this, let's see. Boom, where did everything go, Mr. Kaiser? Well, I dragged the background to the bottom. So all of this code ran, but it hid what was there. So we wanna be careful and not move the blocks unless we're intending to. So keep that in mind, right? The reason this is yellow is there's a yellow right before that. Now, in terms of changing their shape, all right, there's four numbers. What the heck? Which one do I use? If we look over here, they're actually kind of kind about this. X, Y, and then width, height. X, Y is going to be their location. And then width and height, well, that's what we're going to want to mess with. So let's just give it a shot, right? 90, I don't know, 10. Let's see what that does. Ooh, that is an itty bitty. The 91, where'd that go? Oh, it's way over there. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, 65. 45, maybe a little less. Yeah, and that one is also changing its shape. So now we know we have the right numbers. So let's dive into using a random number. And like we have been doing, we can just drag and drop this guy directly into these spots. I'm gonna actually show you two ways to do this, but let's do this method first. So keep in mind with my random number, this the numbers in here is the amount it can be. So I'm gonna say it has to at least be 40 and maybe go up to 70. Let's see what that does. Uh, which one is this? Cyan, it should be this guy, All right? And so let's make it go crazy and see if it works. Yep, there we go. So I'm not gonna actually have it that high, but you know, maybe I'll have it 30. Now we can also do a random number on width as well. Why not? So let's do, I don't know, uh, 35 and 80. I'm just making these up, y'all. I can keep going. Let me throw a few more of these down and show you what I mean. Boom and boom. So you can see as you fill these all out, you are going to randomize the size of these planets. So we can keep going with this. This is one way to solve it, is adding random numbers throughout this. The other way that students will sometimes do, and I like, Right? This is completely correct. This meets the criteria. They don't say explicitly you have to use a variable in this. So let me be clear. If you put these orangey things, and by that I mean the orange blocks, in the correct spot, randomize the shape, 100% correct. If you want to get fancy, we have these, a variable. And we can use a random number block here. And I can say, I don't know, I'm going to call this size 1. And the random numbers it will be is 20 to 100. Now, I could also go down here and put size one, size one, and it will use whatever size one gets equal to when I execute run to size this final planet. Notice it's always gonna be a circle because we're using the same number. So this is another way you can do this if you would like. Just make sure that you're actually animating each of the uh, planets. So we'll call that size two. And let me go down here, Oops. size two. And I can use that up here, maybe I switch them. Boom, boom. So keep in mind, either approach is correct, you just may need to provide some variability to the planet size. So I don't know, maybe I'll use that here as well, or another variable, it's whatever you would like. All right, have fun with this, and onward.